What you doing today, Adam? Today we're gonna um, find our way out to the Yuari um, National Forest, I believe, and we're going to uh, hit up a trail there. I think we're just gonna do the Burkhead one or the Robbins Trail, as they're called. And it will be my second time there, third time overall in Yuari, my second time there. And it'll be your first time there. And we're just doing a little bit of day hike because we'd like to do some camping out there, but we don't, we aren't familiar with the area. And so we'd like to go in and um, scope it out a little bit. Maybe look at the campsites, see if there's any that we would, see if there's any of them that we would like. And if nothing else, just have a good day hiking. We're gonna get coffee first because I'm here. We're getting coffee first. So. Coffee always, um, coffee always puts Jesse in a good mood. So that's always smart to do before you get on a trail. Right. Don't take people who are hangry or <laughs> haven't had their coffee. Could be disastrous. Could be. The bears will run. The bears will run. That's true. So maybe if I want to um, keep myself safe, I should not give you coffee and take you out there hangry. Just let me protect you. Bears come by and be like, oh, uh-uh. Did you, did you bring coffee, bear? <laughs> did you bring, you didn't? <laughs> Get skinny. Oh, yeah. Bears are safe because Jesse's got her coffee. What did I get? Vanilla latte. Vanilla latte. Vanilla latte. Vanilla latte. Tidings of coffee and joy. Some people would agree with that. And then I got a sausage, egg, and cheddar. Muffin. 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 Good. Not a biscuit, but a muffin. Man, I think it's Walter now. I got Jessie here gearing up with her little water pouches. She's not carrying any water in, just a little backpack to toss a couple, couple things in. Maybe she does. You got water in your water pack? Oh, she does have water in it. Okay. We're out here kind of during hunting season, I believe. Um, and all we brought was this little bit of water. And that was just happenstance. So this is kind of the little trailhead here part. It's kind of right off of the side road. Our houses are around, so it's kind of unexpected, but it'll work. We're going to give it a give it a go. So we do expect there to be some hunting out here. And probably some of these vehicles are for that, but I don't think they're gonna be hunting on the trail. And that's where we're gonna be, so we'll be fine. But hiking, no no horses, no ATVs, nothing here on the Burkhead Mountain Trail. So Oops. No. empty. Yep, white blaze. Burkhead. It rained pretty much all all night last night, so we were suspecting it's probably gonna be a little bit of a muddy trail, but what fun would it be if it wasn't? We did get some buy some nice boots, we got some good deals on them. And they're coming getting shipped, so <laughs> there's no telling what time they'd actually get here, but um this one's gonna be our first fun little stream to cross. And she's getting ready to cross said stream. They got a few rocks that are sitting up. We didn't top. bring our sticks though, did we? Oh, uh, we can go back and get them. Might be nice. You want to get our sticks? It might make me not, not get so wet. Okay, might help you, help you out too. Okay, I got let's go back and get our sticks. What? Yeah. Oh. Ooh, made it. That one that's a little bit underwater I stepped on is good to go. Now it's like how much faith do we put in those poles not to like collapse on her. Hey! Nice, good job. So Jesse and I are probably, I don't know, not very far in, have 100 feet or two feet, but we saw this campsite right over here. And I don't know if you can see the ring, it's like a little fire ring. And the trail is just right over there. And Jesse said, well, we could do that for our first night. Yeah. 
abs. Are you feeling it in the abs? Jessie's a trooper. She's post-op in the abdominal area, so. <laughs> she lays on her back on the floor, can't even lift her. She can't lift her legs up off the floor. So, this is kind of a test run out here. And she's uh, seen how much she can feel in the abs hiking. Uses a lot more than you think sometimes. This kind of makes you wonder if there's like a, a home here or something, because I can shallow for they have a stack of rocks like that. And this was left over home or a little place. So it makes you wonder if that's what that is or not. We got a little remnants of some wind damage. It looks like whoever takes care of the trail did a pretty good job. I had to pause there and make up something about talking about the wind blown or the wind damage. And that's just for me to rest. It worked. Uh, inclined. And I'm feeling it. So we're taking a much needed timeout. This is critical injury. Uh, so this we're gonna show you a little bit of wilderness uh, first aid. It's and, a little uh, guy. What is it? This is a little guy, I don't know. This is a flick you mean <laughs> So yep, surgery's been done. Um, the extraction took place. And uh, she put it up with a uh, complex closure. Uh, first using the subdermis um, 1.0 rotating stitch uh, to close that about three millimeter by two millimeter it's pretty significant and then um, uh, of course the, the superficial layer she just used a little we call that a little bit of rock snot that she closes it up with just glued I, it up I stuck my knife in the tree and... yeah put a little butter, butterfly uh, bandage over it and she's ready to go so we made it back up to the top of the mountain and Jess and I found it interesting that look it looks like there's a little path that goes off here doesn't it little campsite but I wouldn't hang from none of these trees we found it very interesting if I can turn you around at the top here most of those trees are cut down back there broken off I mean there's just trees down everywhere really just I mean they're just all falling down but I suspect that's because of the uh, high winds that could take a place at the top here I mean there's no there's nothing to shelter these guys they take the full force of it I'm sure so we're just gonna come over here and see what's going on. It looks like a little trail maybe for campsite, but like I said, I don't think I'd hang from any of these. Ever. They look like they come down no matter how big. So, but if you look at it, it's just broke. Everything's just broken, broken down. And a great view back there though. I don't know if y'all can see that on the, the GoPro. Generally speaking, it doesn't show too well things off in the distance, but, but, uh, Still a nice spot. I mean, you could have some good lunch here, couldn't you? 
Looks like the path because there's a fire ring right there, Jess. Where? Right there to your left. Oh, yeah. Yep, I suspect there might have been a little campsite. And there is. There's a fire ring right there. So, look at all that blow down. <laughs> yep, doesn't look like this is going to be used uh, in some time. Well, maybe not too long ago, but. But um, I don't think <laughs> I uh, I wouldn't be a fan of hanging a hammock here, nor would I want to put a tent. Come knock you over. Oh, you're gonna joust. That your rock? And that'd be my rock over there. Don't really knock you over. Just be a good picture. GoPro, take a photo. Back in the day, she was a she was a champion. She got first place okay. in the Oregon Trail. That's not true. Yeah, you did. Okay. And you forded them rivers like a boss. So if she's gonna show us how, man, she makes it look easy. Saw three young fellers run by on the trail. So <laughs> I'm like slowly walking the trail, trying to dodge all the you know, rocks and things of that nature. These dudes are just jogging it like it was nothing. So, but that's all right. Good for them. <laughs>